all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you please invite your friends uh, before we start just to inform you that we will uh, not do a live podcast for some time in the arabian prophet account uh, we have many other accounts we would like to increase the number of subscribers there and all of those accounts are back up so uh, just take a note about that and please subscribe to this channel and any other channel i will use in the future it will be updated always in patreon or in facebook or in Twitter or whatever Instagram so take a note now here today we are going to answer this Abdul if you remember you know this uh, this guy he made a video uh, about uh, the Christians the uh, the Jews the Christians they eat poo-poo uh, uh, <laughs> and he is quoting from the from the Bible the Ezekiel uh, chapter 4 now uh, 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 I made for for sure a video about him, and uh, um, I'm sure he is sorry and he regret that he made such a video. But here, if we go to the to the text, you will see some Muslims making a comment like this guy Yusuf Goldman, uh, and he is saying uh, I, I, he posts in English and in German, why you are hiding at, uh, uh, Ezekiel uh, four twelve. Uh, you see, the problem is that the Muslims when they attack Christianity. Or Judaism not only showing their lack of intellect they are showing lack of knowledge and how much they disrespect their own God and I will show you how the problem is when I speak to Muslims I feel like I'm talking to a bunch of kids they are tr just desperately trying to find something to attack Christianity first of all if we go to Ezekiel chapter 4 verse number uh, 12 or you can read the, read the whole chapter the easiest way always to prove something is to go and read the commentary about this uh, 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 this chapter. So if we go and read what it says there, you can go right now and you can check any commentary book speaking about that and you will see that what you are saying to us is absolutely a lie. There's nobody believe in such a thing. Nobody believe that we cook our food uh, mixed with the poop or what they are saying, we use it as a fuel. So when the Muslim they attack uh, Christianity let me show you the commentary hold on give me a second when the Muslims attack Christianity they are showing first of all that they have no uh, let us say uh, no dignity because no problem you can attack you can say whatever you want but at least be honest when we show you something we show you the commentary of the Muslims what the Quran mean what Islam mean and what the scars of Islam mean you cannot explain my book up to you and you cannot force me to eat what you think I am eating I eat what I eat and here we go this is what we eat read with me all the commentary of the Bible do you see any one of, of them saying that we use poop mix it with the food read anyone show me one agree with you so why all of them they are saying that you are a liar so it's obviously disparate uh, uh, attempt to fabricate something about the Bible which is not even there and the, the purpose of this desperate attempt because Islam is a stupid religion and they cannot defend the religion so what we do we find anything and we make a story around it and we make some uh, cloud around it and we fabricate some spice we add some spice to the story and that will make Christianity and Judaism bad but look what happened when the Muslims they say that the Jews they are mixing their food with poop do you know what does that mean guess what Allah he allowed and he ordered the Muslim to eat poop if we go in the Quran and this is why I say to you Muslims they have a lack of intellect and please don't forget to download the video right away I'm not going to keep my videos in my channels and you know why so when I'm done download share everywhere and let everybody laugh at the Muslims attacking Ezekiel 4 12 if we go in the Quran the yellow pages of Muhammad you will see the Quran say in chapter 5 verse number 5 that Allah he allowed the Muslims to eat our food so guess now what happened you say that we Christians we cook our food and we mix it with poop to make it simple shit of a human or shit of uh, donkeys or shit of cows and guess what your God saying you you can eat it read with me carefully and laugh at yourself how in the world you say that this book the christian book the jewish book teaching the christians to eat poop 
and then your Quran says eat their book eat their food Today I have made lawful for you Huh? Lawful for you what the food of the people of the book So how in the world you Muslims going around saying that Islam is better than Christianity Islam does not teach such a garbage Islam etc when your Quran saying you can eat their food are you saying to me that your God Allah is not aware of Ezekiel 4 are you saying to me that your God have no idea of this verse Because what you are saying, saying it clearly that your God is Allah is a stupid. He never heard of Ezekiel 4. And this is why he allow you to eat our food. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, we can change the translation if they don't like. I mean, I don't even like this translation. You can choose any translation you want. I don't accept any Muslim translation, but you cannot. I, I challenge the Muslims. You know what? Let me see the German. I want to see the German translation. Where is the German? This website have a German. Hold on. Let me get the embossed in the, in the German language. Where is the German? Where is the German? I, I thought I, I saw German here before. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What happened? Where is the German? Here we go. German. Uh, German. Let us see. Any German. Doesn't matter really. Here we go. Anyone here speak German? Does it say here that the food of the people of the book is lawful for you? Does it say that? Who of you here speak German? So when the Muslims they lie and they say the Bible says the Christians the Jews they mix Shit with their bread and then we find the Quran says it's okay to eat the food of the Christians that's mean Your Quran saying hey Muslims enjoy eating the shit of the Christians. Thank you very much So this is what happened when you lie about us even your God Allah get you busted How you lie around saying to people that the Christians and the Jews their book is saying to them you can eat shit When your Quran saying the shit of the Christians is lawful for you because this is what you are saying to me Huh This day all things are good and pure made lawful into you the food of the people of the of, of the people of the book who are they the people of the book the Christian and the Jews and let us see I'm not going to do what Muslims do I'm not going to say oh this is about Christian and Jews by my own I will show you the interpretation so everybody will laugh at you this is the chapter 5 verse number 5 and this is the Sirah Jalalain read I forgot you are literate like your prophet today the good delicious things are permitted to you and the food of those we are giving the scriptures that animals slaughtered by the Jews and the Christians permitted to you and by the way, here in the Quran it says all the food, atu, not only the animals, everything. Everything. And the Christians permitted to you, permitted to them, your is your food. So whatever permitted to them is permitted to you. Whatever they eat, you eat. And by the way, this is proving that the Muslim, when they lie, they say, oh, I eat only halal food. The verse here proving that there's nothing is called halal when it's come to the food of the Christians, because the food of the Christian always halal. Change the interpretation. Maybe they don't like it. And you can find that tons of article written that, yes, you can eat the Christians and the Jews uh, food. Okay, so any food, meat, bread. Vegetables anything they cook the Christians and Muhammad himself supposedly the Muslim they say to us Muhammad he have a Christian wife Khadija So Khadija obviously she was doing Mixing poop for Muhammad making salad with poop maybe 
so stop lying stop being a liar shame on you you are exposing your own prophet and your own religion this is how silly they are and this is how we get them busted the interpretation of Ezekiel in front of us and when your Quran says it is lawful for you to eat the Christians and the Jews food then you cannot play games with it no more I advise you to send Allah to Allah letter you know send to Allah a letter with Jibreel you know call Jibreel tell him hey Jibreel our God Allah is being an idiot how in the world he says to us eat the food of the Christians when the Christian and the Jews their book says you can cook it with poop why you don't do that shame on you are you going to eat our food what a liars and what a hypocrite and what a fabricator shame on you anyone can go right now and type in Google Ezekiel for interpretation or like like explanation and you will see from all the Christians not not on all the Jews nobody in the world says that this is about mixing the food with poop you are being stupid until now in your countries in the Middle East in many Islamic countries they still use the 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 the, the poop as an as a fuel not like today you know you can just have your fuel uh, in in the stove as a you know until now there's many villages they don't have the the luxury many people have and this is why you see your sisters in the Middle East and in Pakistan and even in India you know in Iraq and in Syria uh, in Jordan uh, in uh, in many in Africa they do use the 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 animal dunk as a fuel they are not this is not a cake this is not the cake they are doing this is the they cook their cake in it you donkey stop being a liar this is a fuel used for centuries and centuries and until now if you go in the Middle East you will see that almost until now most of the villagers and they are Muslims they use still the same method for fuel in their houses so when a Muslim he lie not only he exposed his own God and he made himself he made a fool of his God but he exposed himself to be a liar and that means Islam cannot be a good religion because if Islam is a good religion why Muslims they lie you want to defend your religion defend your religion but why you fabricate a lie why you make up stories is not there if Islam is good will make good of you but because Islam is bad is making who you are today lying about Christianity fabricating stories and this is the only thing you can do try to do better my friend ask your God Allah to give you something better to attack the Christians and the Jews obviously it's not working This is a tradition used for centuries by millions of people around the earth especially in poor areas poor countries those who don't have money to afford to buy a propane gas like you to have a nice kitchen like you those who they have live their daily life you know fighting for for their food they use the dunk of the animals for fuel it's very simple it's very well known and nothing there's no shame of it they are not eating it you you liar you are making fun of the poor people only this is what you are doing you are saying that your sister in islam or around the world who do that they are a bunch of idiot this is a picture in iraq i think afghani sorry it's an afghani village this is an afghani village let me open the picture hold on this is an Afghani village. It took me to work a video. Hold on. Here we go. This is an Afghani big, uh, village. Take a look, Abdul. Do you see behind is written in Arabic letters? This is Afghani village. So you see the poop in the wall? They, they attach the poop to the wall to dry it. When it's wet, they hit it in the wall, 
So it, when it's dry, they take it and they use it as a fuel. So you are saying to me that your Muslim brothers in Afghanistan, they are eating poops. Huh? And those are American soldiers, as you see. So why you are lying? Why people lie? I mean, you don't have a shame? Do you see? U.S. soldier patrolling outside of Kalat covered in cake with dried cow dunk in Afghanistan, Afghani village. Now he will say to me that those Afghani are infidels, right? I mean, shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. Islam bring nothing but shame to a human being. He speaks foolish and he speaks stupid. And when he speak, he get his, his God busted. So thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, don't forget to download the video right away. And take a note that we will not do live podcast in Arabian Prophet for some time. And actually, from now on, I will make short videos because I need to focus on finishing my books. I have many books delayed for, for because of staying for many, many hours. And this live podcast is taking a lot of my energy. So when I'm done, I cannot really focus on anything no more. Uh, so take a note. We will post videos, maybe short videos, you know, from now on. And subscribe to this channel and to the other channels. We have Arab for a Christ. We have, you know, all the rest. And uh, always to get the update about what is my last channel, subscribe to an Instagram, you know. You will have my news, uh, battery on. And we have for sure minds.com. Don't forget minds.com. Uh, let me let me show it to you in the screen. This is my account in minds.com. I always advise you to uh, subscribe there. This is the way you can always follow wherever I'm going to do broadcast or I have an occasion or something to do. Minds.com. And this is my Twitter. Please subscribe there too. And this is my Facebook. And now my Skype is Debate TV, but I'm receiving too many silly uh, texts. Hello, Christian Prince, how are you? You know, I really appreciate you. Don't send me those texts. My Skype is only to do live debate. I don't publish it uh, uh, just to say hi and hello with people. I have thousands and thousands of people adding me. So imagine I spend my day saying hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my brother. So I appreciate all the nice words people they send to me. But there's no need for it. You know, you can leave it in text in the comment here. Um, you can, if you want to help, you can download our video, share it around. And that is the only thank you I accept, really. Thank you by saying hello, thank you. It, it's, it's useless. If you are a really Christian, if you are a person who defend the truth, do something. Say the same, thank you for, for something else. You know, thank God for what he gave you of wisdom. And thank God for he provide you with people who can help you to understand better and you can refute better so this is the thing you can do thank you lord and try to share what we do with others so you can save them from the deception of muslims and the way they lie and they try to insult the bible but as you see when they do that they insult themselves so thank you very much for being here and take a note that we will do live podcast in different account again minds.com is the where is where you can be updated i think the, the account is so clear but i know christians are very lazy you have to carry the person by your two hands and take him to minds.com and you hold his hand and you click subscribe when it's very easy i mean log there login creating an account is very easy it's, it's a lot easier than facebook and you can subscribe and you can be updated if you really like to if you if you care but I understand people like, you know, many people here, they are just uh, to watch a show of oh, the Christian Prince is funny. I'm not here a comedian. I am not your comedian. I'm here doing a mission. I'm not here for your love. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we get them busted every day. Thank you. Take care.